Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually don't even know what I'm going to be filming. I'm going to be filming obviously a makeup tutorial, but all I do know is I have a bunch of new makeup laying out right in front of me right now that I really, really want to try out. So I figured let me just turn on the camera and film a look for you guys. I do already know the star of the show is going to be the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I picked up a bunch of stuff from Sephora the other day. I picked up the Cover Effects, the Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. I've used it maybe once, once or twice, but I haven't actually tested it out. But when I did use it that one time, my makeup turned out flawless. No flashback in pictures. So I was really happy about that. I also picked up the Packaging is Dirty because it was like shoved on, under all my makeup. But I picked up the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in... I'm not sure what color. Oh, luminous light. So I picked that up, have not even opened this one yet. I'm excited to try it and I haven't opened this hourglass either. It's the hourglass veil translucent setting powder. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I just got this in the mail today, the blood sugar palette. Also, I picked up some Huda Beauty lashes from Sephora in the style Samantha. So I'm gonna be using all these new products. I just got in the um, Huda Beauty what is it called? Overachiever Concealer. So I just got that in and oh, one more. And also this Morphe little bronzing slash highlight palette. I've used this one already. I So far I like it. But let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial so I can test out all these new products and you guys can just watch along while I make something happen. <laughs> First things first, I am going to, of course, take my Bobbi Brown face space with my Beauty Blender and just stamp this all over my face. I've gotten so many questions about this face space from so many people and everyone's telling me how they like want to try it out, so I'm really excited about that because it's seriously such a good product. I know you guys have seen me use this Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer in my previous videos, so I'm just going to go ahead and just put it on quickly just in my T-zone to fill in my pores because it is a smoothing primer. Take about that much on the back of my finger. That's kind of a lot, but I don't know. I guess that's what we're going for today. So yeah, I'm going to quickly put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I'm going to prime my eyelids with this. I have used this before, but I think I got a little too light of a color, but it's still, I, I really like it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that right now. I really do like this product. It is the most full coverage concealer I've ever tried in my whole entire life. It's almost like two full coverage, so <laughs> that's on you if you want to try it out. But it definitely is great. It'll cover your sins, literally. I love the applicator, by the way. It's kind of mess. It's kind of dirty because I've used it, but it's so cold. It stays cold too. It doesn't like get warm or anything. So it depuffs your eyes and stuff like that. So it's really good. I'm just gonna put a little bit because a little goes a long way. So for today's look, I'm gonna go in with some scotch tape. I just wanna put it right here, just to make it have that really perfect cat eye effect. That's my favorite look. I always, always do this trick. Um, a lot of people don't, might not like doing it, but I really do, because like I said, it gives you that perfect clean cut line and all that stuff, so I'm definitely gonna do that. What I like to do when I place the tape I take it right below my lash line, but I don't put it that close to it. So you can also do your lower lash line with getting that same perfect line. So leave a little bit of room from your lower lash line from where you start the tape and just go upward. Okay, I zoomed you guys on in just a bit. Let me show you guys how cool this palette is. Uh, it's a lock box, it's so cool. Look at the colors and like when you open it, kind of hard to open it's like really really sturdy packaging and this is what the inside looks like it's gorgeous I'm obsessed first thing I'm gonna pick up is this glucose color it's the first color in the palette it's like a stark white color I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up on my Morphe 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 M433 brush picked up a lot on the brush just gonna pat that in So for real, I really don't know what look I'm going for. I really truly don't, so bear with me. Next color I'm going to go in with is Tongue Pop right here. I think that's it, yeah. 
Tongue Pop, I'm gonna be using the same brush, Morphe M433. Look how much product that picked up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna buff this color, Tongue Pop, into my crease. I'm gonna start it off in the middle like I usually like to. I'm gonna lift up my brow so I could get it perfectly in the crease. And I'm gonna take it in circular motions into an outer V. So far, the shadow is so easy to blend. Like super, super easy to blend. So, let's just continue. I'm really, really drawn to this cavity color. It looks so like, it looks so attractive. Let me just swatch it. I'm gonna be taking the color cavity on a MAC 233 brush. This is the color. I just did that swatch for you guys. Don't worry if it gets on your lid because you can always cut the crease, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do yet, but I kind of want this to be the main focus of the look, so I'm going to take it all over the lid. Next thing I'm going to do using the same brush, I'm going to take, it's the deepest shade, it's called Coma. I'm going to take it on my brush, and I'm going to place this on the outer V of my eye just to give it some dimension so it's not just such not just one color all over. But I still wanted the pink to peek through, so I did go ahead and bring it all the way out. But now I'm gonna add some dimension with this dark, deep purple. I'm just gonna lift my lid again and stamp this on the outer V. Next thing I'm gonna do, just to give this look a little more dimension, I'm gonna take the Morphe M32 brush. It's a pencil brush. I'm gonna take that same color, Coma, the darkest shade. I'm going to lift my brows and just pop it right in there. So I'm going to follow exactly where I stopped on the outer V and just put it right in here. Make sure you're lifting your brows for this part because it just makes it easier to place it exactly where you want it to be. New idea. I'm making this a halo eye. <laughs> so taking that same shade and putting the dark exactly right here too. Same steps, just using this pencil brush. I'm still happy how I put the pink all over the lid because it's going to peek through perfectly. Always remember when you're doing your eye looks that it's going to look worse before it looks good, if that makes any sense. It always looks so scary while you're doing it. Like right now I'm looking, I'm like, oh, this is a hot mess. But I know in the end I have this vision of what I kind of want now. So I'm going to obviously try to make that vision come to life. but. Don't be scared when you're doing your shadows. It's all about trial and error and just having fun with it. Now I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush. It says from Sam and Alec, I don't know what that means, but it's from Ulta, I picked it up. Um, it's kinda like my Morphe M433, but that one's getting dirty with the purples. I don't wanna mix the pink and purple. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade I put in my crease, Tongue Pop, and bring that shade back in. I really like how it looks when you keep bringing that shade back in, because it, it keeps kinda disappearing. And I want that shade to stand out. And it's gonna help you to blend all the shades together. Uh, next thing I wanna do is I wanna bring in this root canal color right over here. I kinda wanna just put it in the crease a little bit. Maybe it'll pop something out. I'm gonna be taking it on a Morphe M441 brush. It looks like that. I'm gonna take just a little bit, dip it in a few times, tap it off, lift my brows and just tap it more so in the center. I think it'll pop out the purples a lot. And then I'm gonna take it around. Whatever's on my brush. This one's kind of just going in the crease, not really all over. Okay, now I'm just taking a clean Morphe M441 brush and no product on it, just gonna blend everything together. Okay, now that we got that all blended out, I'm going to, I want to highlight the center on top of where I put the pink. I think I'm going to take this, it looks, it looks like a pinky gold, if I'm correct. It's called Sweetener right over here. Yeah, it has like a pinky gold reflex. You can see that. I'm just going to pop it right in the center. Now I'm just going to take the brush that I used that dark purple on on the outer and inner corner. I'm just gonna, I'm not putting any more product. I'm just gonna blend the shimmer shade 
and the matte shades together. Loving, loving this look. Sometimes the best looks come from an unplanned vision, <laughs> but so far I'm not complaining. I really like how this is turning out. I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing I did in the crease to the bottom lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take Tongue Pop on that MAC brush and just buff that in my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this all the way in. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is pop on some liner and lashes. I think this look would be way more completed with a winged liner since it is a smoky eye. I want it to be dramatic. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera, so I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back with my liner and lashes on. I have not highlighted my brow bone and I want to do one more thing to the lower lash line. And I wanted to tell you guys before I did it, I was going to do it off camera, but I wanted you guys to know what I'm doing. I want to take that purple shade, I don't know why I didn't do that before, with a flat brush, something like this. This is a Sigma E15 brush. I am wearing the Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha. Um, I have wore these before, one time which was not like three or four days ago, I would say. And I, I liked them. They were a little harder to put, even though they're reusable, they were a little harder to put back on today since I, they were already used, which usually it's easier to put on after the first time because they're already kind of shaped to your eye, I would say. But these ones I struggled for a minute, but I made it work. Um, I really like them. I really like the style of them. Okay, so I'm gonna take that Coma color, which is that last dark shade I used, the last shade in the palette. I'm gonna run it on the lower lash line, just on the outer corner, nowhere else. I'm gonna leave my inner waterline blank. I want it to stay open. Uh, I don't want it to. I don't want to close off my eye. Last thing I'm gonna do is highlight my inner corner and brow bone, but I'm not gonna use any shade in this palette. I don't. Want, I like that first shade, the glucose, but it's it's a stark matte white. I want something shimmery and popped out because this look is almost all matte besides for the pop in the middle. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later in this tutorial. So I'll obviously let you know when I do. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the face. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This palette's unreal. I give it an A8, A A plus for sure. It's amazing. You should definitely pick it up. It's really, really, really good. Actually, it was really easy to blend and I've never had such an easy time with shadows in my life. Everything blended for you, so it is a little pricey, but it's worth the money, in my opinion. By the way, as far as fallout, I really had nothing on my face, so that's another plus for the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my foundation. I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation today. I have the Huda Beauty one, I've used it a few times. I kind of wanna mix these two and see what happens. I think it'll be a really cool mix because they're both full coverage. I don't mind, I like the Huda Beauty foundation, I just sometimes can't stand the smell of it. It's too, too perfumey in my opinion, but it is a great foundation. I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand, a little bit of the Estee Lauder. This is in the shade Shell Beige. Oh, too much. That's what I hate about this Estee Lauder, is it just spills out. But it's okay, we're going for a full, full glam look today, so we're going Full coverage on top of full coverage. So I'm gonna put one pump of the Huda Beauty foundation in here. It's a little lighter, but it's okay. This shade is kind of dark for me, and the Estee Lauder is kind of dark for me, anyways. So I'm gonna take my Morphe Beauty Sponge and stamp this on my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Concealer, the Overachiever Concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit of it right under my eye. I'm literally just gonna put a line because it blends for days. And I don't wanna mess up my lower lash line. Eyeshadow. I'm gonna highlight with this too. See, I feel like it's a little too light because I do go darker with my foundation, but I'll make it work. It's so full coverage, you guys, you have no idea. I'm gonna spray my Tatcha spray on my beauty blender to blend this concealer out like I normally do. I'm gonna start on my chin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye using my 
one and only Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to take these. It's a mess. I don't want to show you it. But don't look in the mirror. But I'm going to take these two shades mixed just to set my under eye. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and set the whole face. I'm not going to cream contour today because I'm kind of in a rush. But um, and I've already been taking my sweet ass time, which I shouldn't have been. So yeah, I'm just going to skip that step. I'm just going to powder contour, no big deal. I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade C6. I'm just going to take this on a real fluffy, real techniques brush. This is actually a foundation powder. I'm just going to go for full, full coverage, girl. Okay, now I want to go in with this Morphe palette. I have tried it. I do like it so far. Um, I've only dipped into the matte shades. Not, I haven't really touched the highlighters. I did swatch them. So that's why it's touched, but I'm going to kind of mix these three shades. So just kind of dipping in all of them. That's what I did with the first time I used it. I always like to mix shades. I don't know why I can never choose one shade, so I might as well mix them all. That's why they're in a palette for you. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Y9 brush. And like I said, mix those shades. And just put it where I would contour. I'm just going to stamp it there. Um, this is just bronzing though. This isn't contouring. Go on the forehead, the jawline, and bring the rest everywhere else. Just to give you an all over bronzed effect. Okay, now I'm going to take my Kat Von D palette again, dip into the, all three shades of the contour, take my NARS Eda brush, the famous NARS Eda brush, and like I said, tap in all of them once, tap it out, and contour. Okay, so now that that's all done, I don't know if I want to go in with my hourglass or the Cover Effects setting powders or baking powders, whatever you want to call them. I don't know which one I want to go in with. I'm kind of leaning towards this one since I've already used it. I've heard amazing, amazing things about this one, but I don't know. I'm just going to go in with the Cover Effects one. I'll try the hourglass one in another video. Let me do my blush first before I go in with the bake. I'm going to use the, my Anastasia Blush Trios right here. Dipping in all three shades and just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm gonna go in with my Cover Effects The Perfect Setting Powder. I tap some in my cap and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Beauty Blender or my Morphe Beauty Sponge, wherever it is. I keep losing everything now. Such a mess on my table if you could see it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it on the edge, on the flat side, and just bake. No creases here. No ma'am, we do not accept creases. I hate when my makeup creases, it grosses me out. So I'm going to highlight while I let my face bake. I am debating, I have like 15 highlighters in front of me. I know I told you guys my favorite is this MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette, but I kinda, kinda wanna stick with Jeffree Star because I'm like obsessed with his blood sugar palette. And I've had these ones for a while. I have Crystal Ball and Summer Snow Cone. I don't know when I open them up. Let's see which one. Ooh, pretty. I've used this one twice. This one got dirty because I used like a brush that had different colors on it. But this one's like a stark white and this one's a really goldy gold. So I think I'm gonna go with the gold, of course. Summer Snow Cone. Gonna go ahead and take my normal highlight brush, which is the Morphe, which is the Morphe Y14. It looks, I'm scared it's gonna be too dark for me. That's pretty. I like that. Let me go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm gonna still leave the bake on. I'll be right back because eyebrows aren't entertaining to watch. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush I used to put my um, setting powder, the MAC one. I'm gonna dip in it a little bit and just buff away the, um, the bake. I like to do this trick because it doesn't leave that white cast, not saying this powder will, but I just like to bring back some color into my skin. So like I said, tap into your setting powder or your bronzer, whatever you want, and just buff it away. What I liked about this powder so far, it didn't feel drying. Like when I was sitting on my face for that long, while I filled in my eyebrows, put on my highlight, that was about 
five to ten minutes, you know? It didn't feel like my face, like it needed to come off right away. Usually when you I would bake for that long, I'm like, oh my god, I need to take this off my face. I feel like I need water. But no, I really like that. I'm gonna now go in with the new my new ambient lighting setting powder from Hourglass. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. I don't even know if I got the right shade, but it's like a goldy one. Like I said, gold everything. Looks like that. Just on a fluffy brush, this is a Morphe Y1 brush. I'm just gonna, I guess, swirl it in there and put it on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's pretty. I kind of wish I got a pinky one so I could put it over my blush so it gives it that like blushing effect rather than a goldy effect, but I didn't really think about that. But I like it. It gives that extra highlight. Who doesn't like that? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Butt Naked Lipstick. Last but not least, just some setting spray. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu spray today. I just, I don't know, it's my mood, so. All right guys, and that is it for this video. I love how this look turned out. I would say I had pretty good luck with everything new that I used in this video. A lot of the stuff were things I have already used before, but I totally loved everything. The blood sugar is an A plus in my opinion. I love, love, loved it. I wish I had it for my favorites video because it would have definitely been number one on the list. It is amazing. It is some pops of pinks, purples, and reds. And if you like to have fun with makeup, then you should definitely pick it up. It's so easy to blend, so easy to work with, and usually pinks and purples and reds are actually hard to work with, but I guess he made it perfectly clear that it's not. So yeah, definitely check that out. I The only thing I'm iffy about is my ambient lighting powder, just the color though. I loved what it did to my face. It kind of gave it, gave it that extra glow. But yeah, as far as everything, I loved almost everything. So yeah, I'm glad that I had luck in this tutorial. So if you like this look and like this tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm here every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do upload my new videos. But yeah, guys, the question of the day from you guys is, what is the newest product that you just purchased? I'd love to know, just so I can maybe pick it up or check it out or review it. So yeah, comment down below and see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Sorry, I know you guys have seen this in a few, like my few, what am I trying to say? I know I, okay. <laughs> Let me gather my thoughts and then I'll get back to you. I better be recording. Hold the fuck on. Oh, thank God. You guys, my mom just asked me to go to church and I'm like, with a pink and purple smoky eye. <laughs> oh God. Because I'm going out after, so. I don't want to wipe off my glam, but I don't want to go to church with a freaking purp and <laughs> a perp a purple and pink smoky eye. It's pretty lit though. Gotta love it. No, I'm just kidding.